Hi there, this is a short video to show how to update a bilingual site and to how to uh, manage your translation. Um, as you can see, there's a site here installed with two lang languages, English as the default language and French as the shadow language. And uh, when you switch, you will see that uh, the FR will become visible in the URL and that the language flips to that language. All right, and all the uh, core Joomla features like the search button will change into the French translation as well. Um, but of course, all your content, all your menu items, all your uh, module titles, all your pages, and everything that you've written manually on your site will only be translated if you will put that translation in your database somewhere. All right, that sounds very complicated. Actually, it's very simple. When you log into the back end of your website, you go here, and under Components, there is a Joomfish um, component that manages all your translation. If you go to the Control Panel, you will see that uh, there's different buttons here and you can click a translation and there we go and you will see that uh, everything here is uh, uh, becomes available for your French translation now of course I already installed the French language pack um, if you want to add a translation there's a process to that but we don't have to worry about that right now uh, the French translation pack is already installed and I've copied all the content that's available in the main database to the French language. The only thing is that all uh, the initial French language translation just copies the original English one. I don't know if that makes any sense what I'm saying right here but basically all your content and maybe we can go and uh, quickly show you that. Manage translations. You can copy the original language to another translation. See? Here you see you got your banners, you got your categories, contacts, contents, languages, menus, modules, news feeds, polls, options, polls, sections, users, web links. All of these are available in the default language which is English and I can copy it to another pre-installed language. As you can see, I pre-installed French language pack and the Dutch language pack. If I want to copy everything to Dutch, I select it, I can override it, and I can copy it. And what it does, it copies all those menu items that are available, in, or all those content items that are available in the original English default language to that language that you desire to be on that site. Okay? So uh, I've only done that with French. So if I go to uh, my translation, you will see that I selected uh, my content items, which are your articles. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven available here. And, uh, but I can also change it to my uh, menus, for example. Here we go. And you see all your menu buttons here now or you can change it to your modules and all your modules here become available now all right and these are all the French versions of the English modules but at first when you copy it over it just keeps the English translation unless we change it manually so let's say we want to change a article and you go to back to uh, to contents and you'll see let's go back here there's about every uh, I'm looking for one that's not translated yet uh, pictures maybe it's already translated hmm. Well, these, all these articles apparently already are translated. So let's just go to the, um, the module here. Apropos moi. 
but you'll see that the translation here is not yet in French it's still English so we go back to the back we find that module module and the module is called in English it's called let's see what it's called my internet connection is a bit slow very slow not sure what is going on there we go um, in English it's called about me so what we will do is still loading there we go we will find about me here it is and we're gonna manage the translation of about me and when I open it you will see that um, The translation here, a propos moi, was already done. Uh, when we flip it back to, Eng to French, you see that the translation of the title is already done. And then you'll see the original, the original text that goes with the picture. And then you will see underneath the translation. All right. So I replace this with French. I can even, if I have graphics with text, I can upload a new graphic and uh, add the text in French on that graphic and replace the picture as well. But in this case, that's not relevant. So you translate that module content. And then once you have translated it, you make sure it's published and apply. The moment you hit apply, that will propagate the translation of that module right over there. So we can do the same with menu items, modules, articles, categories, everything basically that's part of the content of your site. So uh, really that's it, that's it. Uh, you just need to make sure that you select the right thing, what you want to, you know, if you do please select, you will see everything at once. No, you actually see nothing, I guess. But so you select what you want to translate. If you want to translate menus, you select menus and you say about Evi. And you see the original about Evi and you see the translation. There we go. Apply or publish, apply, and your menu will actually uh, change. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Uh, if it doesn't, please ask me, but pretty much that's all you need to know. And of course, leading up to this instruction, I already created a shadow environment for the French and copied all the content over to that language. That's why all of this is already available. Um, so on a new site that's bilingual, I will explain to you uh, a little more how that process works. But this one's already set up, so I don't have to show you that. Uh, it really is very simple tool it's just three clicks and that's it but um, that's how you after you copy it over it becomes available you select what kind of content elements you want to translate and uh, you take it from there all right hope you uh, you uh, this is enough information all right talk to you soon